So hello everyone, my name's uh, Father Tim and I'm going to tell you a story that would be really good for you to share if you've got children, um, to share what Holy Week is and it's quite simple. All you need is to make uh, two hearts, preferably out of red paper if you can manage, a cross and a lightning bolt. And this is a great opportunity, you can get them together you can have the the different symbols and you can use that to style the whole reason why the church celebrates Holy Week. So, here goes. First of all, and tell it a bit like a superhero with a villain, good versus evil. So first of all, we start with the heart. Because God loves the world. He loves what he's created. He loves humankind. He creates man, then woman. <coughs> however that came to be. And he loves the world. Everything is perfect. He's in perfect relationship with man. They live in this garden, however imagine that to be. And they live in the full loving relationship with God. But all story has to have, and you've got, you've got to have your villain. And the villain symbolised here by the lightning bolt, symbolises sin. So sin is the thing that comes between God, God's love and humankind. And sin puts all these things in the way of God. And man, humans, choose these things over choosing a relationship with God. Now the good thing about this is that God, even though this is going on, God still loves humankind regardless his love is unending and unconditional but God wants to do something about this this sin this like a lightning bolt separating us from God so what he does is he does something quite amazing for love for us he sends his son he takes on human form he comes down and lives among us as a sign of love and he chooses to fight sin, to defeat sin. And Jesus says, my love cannot overcome your sin. But sin persuades humankind to put Jesus to death on a cross. And he dies. But for those of you who know anything about superheroes and stories of that ilk, you'll know that there's always a last twist in the tale. And the thing is, is that although Jesus dies, that's not the end of the story because God raises Jesus from the dead. And by raising him to new life, he shows that love is stronger than death. And the even more amazing thing about this is that God's love is still there for us. God has defeated sin so that we have the opportunity to receive this unconditional, perfect love that God has always wanted for humankind. Now you might wonder what this story is all about. Well, on the 5th of April was Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week. We've already had sin come into the world. And during this week, we journey with Jesus to show the depths of his love. A love which he shared when he had a meal with his friends called the Last Supper on Monday, Thursday, and told us that we should love each other. But a love that ultimately went to needing to die on the cross so that we could put an end or death so we could have a relationship with God and sin and death could be defeated. But the thing is, and that's a really sad day when Good Friday happens, but we have to remember that this story is not one that ends on the cross with pain and suffering, but this ends on the tomb on Easter day, the empty tomb, where Jesus shows us God's love for us and how far he is prepared to go for us so that we can have that perfect loving relationship with God. So this week, as you journey through this Holy Week, 
perhaps in your families rather than together. Just think of that great love that Jesus has for each and every one of you and how far he's prepared to go to show you how much he loves you. And I hope, however you tell that story, that it provides a useful context, a useful way to share with your children why we have Holy Week, why Good Friday matters, and what the importance of Easter Day is. Thank you for listening and uh, let me know how you get on.